3, 2, 1. Hi right, guys, here with Kali Afai at the uh, open workout for Carnival Spar. Guys, how are you, man? Yeah, good, man. Good. How's, um, how's everything? Obviously, you just had your fight in America, defending your world title again. Uh, what's next for you? What are you looking to do now? Um, looking to I'm just going to I'll defend my title in November. Team. Cheers, all right. So, uh, yeah, it should be good. You're obviously now starting to get even more names. As a world champion, you always have people chasing you, but yeah. one man nagging your boots all the time, Charlie Edwards. Well, well, he's still yeah. nagging you, he still wants that title shot. Where, where would you rank him now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, he's, he's still working his ass off. Would you give him that shot sooner or later? Or? Um, not, not on my right eye. Yeah. Uh, no. Football class. Football class. Football class. Football class. Not for his level. Fair enough. Your brother fighting on this card as well. Yeah. Looking sharp, looking good. Um, obviously, coming off that disappointing loss in Sheffield, but looking to redeem himself now and definitely will. Uh, how's, how's he looking in the gym? How's he yeah, looking, there? looking good, man. Looking sharp. Um, yeah, he's looking very good indeed. Always improving. And um, yeah, looking to find a good chance Saturday night. Talk about the card here as well. Another great matchroom card. Uh, say a core boxing fan's favourite card. You got the likes of Lewis Ritz and Sam Eggington on this card. Uh, but we talk about the main man Amir Khan. Yeah. Uh, what's what's really next for him? And where do you think he can go? You know, back after two years off, 40 seconds in uh, Manchester last time round. Sorry, Liverpool. What what would Vargas cause uh, problems to him? Do you think there's any? Nah, not really. Yeah. So can't see cause any problems. Um, I think. I think Khan. We'll handle him pretty easily, and then um, yeah, I think he's, I think he's, in, he's ready then for a big fight. You know, um, See for yeah. um, it's the one we want to see, isn't it? But one everyone wants to see, you know. With Calbrook at 154, do you think it's likely to well, happen? coming down, and it's yeah. a while away. But he so. says, yeah, he says he will. 147 division again looks oh, ex like spectacular. Yeah. With the names, you got Errol Spence, Terrence Te uh, Crawford going up now yeah. as well. So do you really can, can see Amir Khan competing against these guys at the age now with the layoff for the world title? You got another yeah. fight on the weekend as well in Gar Garcia against. Um, Sean Porter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good fight. Um, but I think I think it's going to be like um, Khan and Brook are going to be looking for the Pacquiao fight. Yeah. Because it's by the looks of it, he's, you know, he's the easiest champion to fight at the moment. Yeah. Um, he's a legend. It's a lot faded. Um, people like Aero Spence and Brook, they're just, you know, they're, they're coming in, they're in their prime. Top fight, fighters, they're, they're elite. So, um, I think I think I think the best fight to be made is Brooke and Khan, make millions, and um, really for the British fans, really for them. So I think it's a good situation. Yeah, it's got to happen, man. Say again. Got to happen. Of course, that's the one. That's the one we want to see. Uh, finishing off, obviously, like I said, you fought in America, but now with the disown uh, agreement with Matchroom, more exposure already as a world champion for you. You look forward to that fight more shows. Yeah, I can't wait, man. Yeah. Um, you know, it's great to. Fight in the US, it's great to fight in the US last time, and um, you'll be the best fighter in the US next on the matchroom card. Um, <laughs> on uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting stuck in. I mean, I'm locked on the zone. Thank you for speaking to us, man. Enjoy the rest of the day. No problem, man. Yeah.